let's go through how to get anomaly shards. The better the squad that you have is for this, the faster it's going to be. You get one drop per mission, but it is affected by the resource booster that doubles the amount of resources you get and can be affected by the Kfat blessing if it is active at the time, which means if you're like extremely lucky, you could get eight in one go, but that's going to be like one in a thousand. So I'm not going to promise anything like that in this video. With that being said, just in case the Kvat blessing is lining up for us, we might as well double up our rewards. So do bring a Smeter for that. I'm going to be taking Lavos. This is because if the mission ends up being a solo mission, Lavos is the best pilot and that just overall will make most of the mission easier. And you only really need one Lavos per crew. The rest, realistically, you just want to take in a decent Warframe that's good at extermination. So Warframes like Vault and Saren are going to be good for this. Once you have decided on your Warframe, come on over to the Railjack missions. We need to head to Vale Proxima and you are looking for whichever node is flashing red. This can move around, so it is not guaranteed to be H2 Cloud. I've seen it be Flexa. I've seen it be R9 Cloud. So it could be any of these. Obviously, I have some that aren't currently active right now. But either way, whichever one is flashing red, that is where we are going to go. The mission itself is a fairly basic exterminate style mission. So you can see up at the top there, we need to defeat some fighters and some cruise ships. I've come in here solo. This could take me a little bit of a minute, but we're just going to go on through, destroy a load of stuff. As long as you have a decent railjack, you really shouldn't have any issues in here. Six cruise ships, 66 six fighters. And because we have Lavos, the fighters are basically going to be effectively meaningless as we put the missiles out there. If you are coming in solo and you want a way to slow down the cruise ships with Without having to take the health all the way down. You can see that we can target the engines here. That's now still. So we don't need to drain the entirety of the health of the cruise ship. And we can just get on into the forward artillery to get that taken out nice and quick. Once all of your cruise ships and fighters are destroyed, we can now talk about clearing out the asteroid hangar. Now it's worth noting that this can be done at the same time as clearing out the fighters. If, if you're in a crew of four, you probably only need two on the ship. One inside the hangar if you are pretty good at it. And a fourth if you have a strong team can go and investigate the anomaly. We'll go ahead and identify that once we have cleared this out. Either way, just so you guys can see both sides, I will do both. We'll cut in between. So let's get on inside the hangar. So inside, your job is to hack the terminals. So one to start with. If you are solo, note that once this is done, you can use your Omni tool to teleport straight back out again. From the outside now, we need to destroy one of the radiators and then head on back in. Same thing happens again. We get the point hacked and then we back out to the ship again. And with the second radiator, one last terminal for us to grab. It's up to you if you keep hold of the ship. We don't really need it. And that just leaves us to investigate the anomaly. This should be familiar to you from the new war. This is one of the Nama ships. Head on in for a simple exterminate mission. As you can see, all we need to do is defeat 20 sentients. Once you've defeated your 20 sentients, you'll see that we get the anomaly shard reward and we can extract to repeat this again and we can extract to repeat this again as i said so this mission was probably around 10 minutes but in a decent mission i'm not bothered talking about that this mission can take a while if you're going to do it solo so i do advise getting into a party maybe divide some of the tasks up because you can do everything all at once provided you have a decent team for doing it i hope that helps you out and i'll catch you all in the next video